This whole tech stuff. Preparing for the end of Windows 10 support, options and solutions. As you're probably aware, Microsoft's support for Windows 10 ends on October the 14th, 2025. So now is a good time to consider your options for maintaining a secure and functional computing environment. This video aims to guide you through the options for this transition, including details of Microsoft's extended security updates, better known as ESU, upgrading to Windows 11, and exploring alternate operating systems such as Linux and Microsoft's cloud-based Windows 365. So what does the end of support mean? Well, after October the 14th, 2025, Microsoft will no longer provide security updates, patches, or technical support for Windows 10. While your PC will continue to operate, the absence of security updates means increased vulnerability to malware, viruses, and other cyber threats. To mitigate these risks, users need to consider upgrading or adopting alternate measures. So what is Microsoft's Extended Security Updates, or ESU? Microsoft offers the Extended Security Updates program, which provides critical updates for up to three years after the end of the support date. Businesses can purchase these licenses starting on October 2024. The cost is $61 per computer, with the price doubling to $122 for year two, and doubling again to $244 for the third and final year. Education customers will be charged $1 per license for the first year, $2 the following year, and $4 the third year. Microsoft have announced that the ESU scheme will be available to consumers with prices to be announced at a later date. Upgrading to Windows 11 Upgrading to Windows 11 is the most straightforward solution for many users. However, Windows 11 has specific hardware requirements, including a compatible 64-bit processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, UEFI firmware with secure boot capability and TPM version 2.0. As with any upgrades, of course, there are potential issues. These include driver compatibility. Older hardware may lack driver support for Windows 11, leading to potential functionality issues. Software compatibility. Some legacy applications may not work on Windows 11, requiring updates or replacements. And of course the learning curve, Windows 11 introduces a new user interface and features which may require an adjustment period. Upgrading with incompatible hardware. For those with hardware that does not meet the aforementioned requirements, there are a few options. One option is to bypass the installation check. There are unofficial methods to bypass Windows 11's hardware checks, but these come with risks and potential stability issues. Microsoft does not recommend or support these methods and users who choose this route do so at their own risk. Hardware upgrade. Investing in some new hardware that meets Windows 11 requirements ensures compatibility and support. This option may be costly, but provides a long-term solution. Inexpensive hardware solutions. An inexpensive hardware solution may be to purchase a mini PC. These are small devices which are way less expensive than their PC counterparts and can be a lot faster. For example, a quick search on Amazon shows that prices start at $91.65 at the time of making this video. A system with a good spec for business and gaming use can be had for around $199.99, or $200 to you and I. Windows 12, what we know so far. While not officially announced, there are rumours and speculation about Windows 12. Microsoft has hinted at a future where updates become more seamless and integrated. Until more information is available, users should really focus on existing solutions like Windows 11 or alternate operating systems. For those who wish to continue using Windows 10 after October the 14th, 2025, third-party security software becomes essential to protect against new threats.
I've included a link in the description to a 2024 review of free antivirus software. Exploring Linux as an alternative. Linux can be a viable alternative for users seeking a free and open source operating system. Popular distributions like Ubuntu, Mint and Fedora offer user-friendly interfaces and extensive software repositories. Linux is less susceptible to malware and provides regular updates, making it a secure choice for many users. I installed Ubuntu on my aging Windows 10 laptop and it runs way more smoothly than before. And of course, don't forget to take a full image of your current Windows 10 installation before attempting a Linux installation, as it is important to be able to re-image back to Windows 10 should you have any unresolvable issues. Additionally, good imaging software will allow you to select individual files from your backup, so you can recreate the data, files, documents, etc. that you had in your Windows 10 installation. A link to some free imaging software packages is included in the video's description. Microsoft's cloud-based solution, Windows 365. For those interested in a cloud-based approach, Windows 365 offers a unique solution. Windows 365 is a cloud PC service that allows users to stream a Windows desktop to any device. This service provides flexibility, scalability, and the ability to access a fully managed Windows environment without worrying about hardware limitations. The key features of Windows 365 is scalability. Easily scale computing power based on your needs. Accessibility. Access your Windows environment from any device with an internet connection. Security. Benefit from Microsoft's robust security infrastructure and regular updates. Conclusion. As Windows 10 support ends, it is essential to consider your options carefully. Whether you upgrade to Windows 11, explore alternatives like Linux, or opt for a cloud-based solution like Windows 365, planning ahead will ensure you remain secure and productive. Remember, while continuing to use Windows 10 without security updates is possible, it poses significant risks. Making the use of third-party security software or exploring other operating systems crucial steps for ongoing protection. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe as it will really help the channel to grow. And please do feel free to leave a comment as I take the time to read all posted comments. See you soon.